sometimes I get questions from my students on Udemy that I don't know, it's going to make my day or ruin my weekend, but this is one of them. There's a question from one of my Udemy students from Germany, and the question is that, can we add image to a combo box for the items that are displayed here? Assuming that this is a choice field and everything is in Dataverse. Let's see how we can do this one. Let's start quickly with the problem definition. There is a table in Dataverse called test item with a choice field called category. And we have access to this table inside Dataverse from Power Apps. Inside Power Apps, we have an edit form that adds and edits items inside this test item table. And the category is a single select choice combo box. We would like to add image to a choice in the category combo box. So basically, we want to convert this to this. Now, the rules are first, just make sure the form stays functional. We don't want to break the form functionality just by adding the image. And we do not touch the dataverse. The main reason is that as the app developer, we are working with tables with data sources that they might be used with many other applications. So most of the time, it's not an option to go there and make changes in the table. We assume the worst case scenario, so our solution will not involve changes in the dataverse. To solve this problem, there are a few steps that we need to take care of. First, we need to create an image for each category. Remember, choice field does not have image and does not let you add images to every single item. Then we need to update the form and assign the image to each item in the combo box. And finally, we need to fix the broken form functionality in case we break it. By the way, as a part of this video, I will create the app myself in case you want to follow. You can do it yourself and follow me. So let's get to work. But before doing anything, let's create the app. And also, we would like to take a look at the table inside Dataverse. This is the table that I have created inside Dataverse. If I click on Edit, you will see it has name. And it also has another field called category, which we have seasonal electronics, toys, or anything like that. So if you click on the edit column, you will see that this field is actually a choice. It's optional, but these are the values that we have. Toys, electronics, seasonal, and there are some values inside it. We don't want to touch anything in this area. This is just for your information. If you want to make a table that looks like this, Go for it so that you can do the work with me. Let me just close this. I go back and I want to create an app in this solution. So we go back to the solution. And inside the solution that we only have one table, I click on new and I want to add a new app, which is going to be a canvas app. And this canvas app is going to be add image to choice. And I click on create. The app is created. I just rename the screen and I call it SCR underscore items. And there we go. First thing I need to make a connection to that Dataverse table. I click on add and I search for the item that we had in the table. It was test items. It made the connection. Click gallery and I just add a vertical gallery and I connect it to the test items that I just added the connection to. We need to do a little bit of trimming. We don't need image or these dates. I just need title and subtitle maybe. There we go. Title is fine. Subtitle instead of date, which is created on, I want to put the category. There we go. So it shows me the right category. We are all good. Now let's add a form here and start editing and creating a new. I just add a quick form here, and this is going to be an edit form. Edit form is going to be connected to the same test items. So it actually adds the name and created on. I don't need created on. I just get rid of it. I pick the form, but I want to add the category field here. There we go. I click on this guy, and now we have two fields. I hate this. Multi columns, I make it one column only so everything looks decent. We picked the data source for this. We need to pick the item for this guy too. So there we go, item. And the item is going to be the selected item from this gallery. 
So the item is going to be gallery one dot selected and boom. We got the first one. If I click on any one of them, it's going to show me what we are looking for. For example, this one, this one, and we're all good. So edit works fine. Does it really edit? No, we don't have a save or submit button. So let me just put a button here quickly. And this button, I want to call it save. And when someone clicks on save, it has to submit the form, form one, which is this form. And when that happens, probably it's a good idea to reset form form one, and I just close this. I just save this guy and we're good. I don't want to share it with anyone. I just close this guy and we try and see if our save works. For example, the first one, I convert the laptop to laptop one and I click on save and see if it updates. Bingo. Everything is good. So save works fine. The only thing is going to be adding new. So let me just add a new button here. Okay, on the top, I say new item. And when someone clicks on this guy, it should change this form to the new form and reset the content. So basically new form, form one. And before I really take it to the new form, probably in the beginning, I need to say reset form. So in case if there is anything inside it, it's going to clear it. Okay, so I just save it. I run it and see if it works. Bingo, it's all clear. I can say my new item. And let's say the category is going to be electronics. Ah, it looks ugly. I click on save and my new item is added under electronics category. It's reset. And it went back to anything that has been selected. We can switch between everything that we want and we are good to go. By the way, if you want to learn how to select the newly added item, the link is right on the top of the screen. So we have our form now. So now let's go to the fun part. First step is you create an image for each category and add them to a SharePoint library. The categories that I have are electronics, seasonal, and toys. I created three images one for each one of them. And if you want to take this approach, just make sure the name of the file is exactly the same name that you have in the categories dropdown. Look at this. Electronics, seasonal, seasonal, and toys. Also make sure all the file types are the same. So if it is one JPEG, everything else should be JPEG. Probably it's not a good idea to pick one JPEG, one PNG, or one GIF. And I tell you why in a minute. Okay, so if I go back to my project, the category, I can pick this drop down and I can go to the advanced and unlock it. And then I can start any kind of surgery that I want on it. Then I go back to the properties. And on this one, I pick fields. And now I want to switch from single to double layout. It's missing the secondary field which is fine. We can pick the same value that we, that we have for this one. And all of a sudden, it shows a double. And if you want to make the second one something different, I will tell you how. So don't worry about this one at the moment. This is not our focus. Our focus is adding an image here. Now, if I click on the category and I click on this dropdown, you see the items are coming from choices, category, test item. Who cares what it has? I need two more columns for it. One for description, so I will show something different on the second line. I also want an image. Let's start with the description. So I go to the beginning of this line in the choices, and right in the beginning, I say add columns. When I say add column, this is the source that I have, which I don't care whatever that is inside it. I just want to add more columns into it. First column is going to be description. The value inside it is going to be description for the value inside it is going to be, let me just concatenate with, with this record dot value. 
then I close this. At the moment, I added one more column here. Let me just run it. And the column name is going to be description. And the value that it shows, it says description for whatever the value or whatever the name was. Let me just click on the fields. And this time, instead of secondary text, I have description. And now if I just run it, you will see if I click on this drop down, it says toys, description for toys, electronics, description for electronics. And if you want to go ahead and customize it one by one, that's up to you. You can simply say, click here to pick toys or click here to pick electronics. This is simply calculated because you have just one choice field. There is not that much room to play around. But that's not the important part. Second part that you can add is an image. So I can add a second column here and I call it picture. And the picture field should have a URL to every single image that we have inside SharePoint. All right, inside SharePoint, I created the library and I called it category images. I can go back to my image list. I can pick all of them and drag and drop them here. And they are all uploaded here. So toys, electronics, seasonal, I have everything inside SharePoint. So every single one of them has a URL now. If I come back here for the picture, I need to pick the URL for every single one of these images that I have here. Remember the name of the file is exactly the same content that you have inside the value, right? So let's first of all get a URL for this. If you click on this one and try to, if you want to copy link, it's going to give you some weird SharePoint link, which is far from the clean link. So what we do, I just get the URL from the beginning to the name of this library. Category images, and I pick the category images. I copy this guy, I bring back inside Power Apps, and I just stick it here. So this is the first part of my URL. The second part of my URL is going to be the value this record dot value. And the last part is going to be the file extension dot JPG. And I just save it. This one is exciting. Let me just run it now and you will not see much here because it's not supposed to show the image. But if you pick the sky, just make sure you pick the combo box and you click on the fields and you switch it. Oh gosh, let me drag this one up. If you switch it to person, although it doesn't let you pick the image here, I can save this. And here is the result that I have. So toys, electronics, seasonal. Bingo. We updated the form and assigned the image to each item in the combo box. Now it's time to fix the broken form functionality. The question is that, have we broken anything? Well, let's see. The first thing is that when we switch from one item to another, does it switch properly? So Plush Sonic shows me toys. Canon SL3, it shows me electronics. My new item shows me electronics. So apparently, the selected item works. No surprise, because the value that it's going to show as default selected items, we haven't changed it. How about new? If I click on this guy and I want to create a new item, and I can say another new item, and I pick the category and I say, for example, seasonal, and I click on save. Let's see if it does. Perfect. It worked. The only thing that probably will not work here is that if your category is multi-select, and let me explain you what happens if it is multi-select. Let me pick this card. And in the update property, you will see it says data card value tree, which is this data card, this dot selected, assuming that it's it has only one selected item, dot value, which accepts only one value, regardless of any extra columns that they are in the selected item. But if it is multi-select, instead of dot selected, it will be dot selected items. In that case, extra columns need to be removed by using drop column, 
before you really save it. How to deal with that, I've completely covered it in my Udemy course, Power Apps Crash Course from UI to Integration. I will put the link here, and here is a free coupon for you, which is valid for only five days from the date that this video is published. And just like that, we created an app with a dropdown that has images. I tried my best to make this solution as simple as possible with the minimal amount of code and with the easiest possible maintenance when it comes to adding and removing items to the choices. Let me know if you have a better idea. I'll be happy to hear from you in the comments section. Thank you for watching. And if you haven't subscribed yet, probably this is your chance. I'll see you soon in the next video with another interesting topic to talk about. Mm -hmm.